In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create sideways vertical text using a widget by Unlimited Elements. Let's get started. To start using the sideways vertical text widget, I'm going to search in my widget pane for the word sideways. Here it is, sideways vertical text. I'm going to drag this inside and I'm going to take you over all of the settings and give you a couple of tips how to use this. First of all, if we duplicate this widget, you'll notice that right now they're one under the other. A quick little tip to prevent this from happening is to click on the widget, go into advanced, and inside positioning, select inline auto. Now, when you duplicate the widget, instead of the widgets being one under the other, they'll be one next to each other. Another quick tip is going into the column, and inside of column, we can align horizontally to center. Now these two widgets are in the center of the column. In some cases one of the widgets might have less words. For example this one. Let's see how that looks. Perfect. And you can see that by default it's aligned to top. If we want to change that we can go back into the column settings and in vertical align, we can choose middle or bottom, whatever you prefer. So right now we have these two widgets by unlimited elements and let's go over the settings. At the end of the tutorial, I'll show you how to position one of them to be fixed on the page and to link it, for example, to Facebook or something like that. So text is just for the text you can change the text typography we can make the words bigger we can change the font family or any other settings you might want to change it's the regular typography settings by elementor i added over here html tags so you can play around with this if you want to it to be SEO friendly and it needs to be a title then you can change that background you can add a background to each one of these so once you click on classic it will open the background selector and you can choose any background you want of course you can add an image in some cases let's do one with an image going to content over here I'm going to change that and let's upload an image. Need to find something that will look good as a background. Let's choose maybe this or this. Let's go for this one. Insert. Another couple of tips when using a background image is to position it center center. And in size, usually you're going to want to use cover. So it covers your widget in the best way. The next setting is padding. If you add padding, it will make the widget bigger. Margin will push it. I don't see a reason to use this margin and not the one in the advanced tab unless it's you can access it quicker. Text color, let's change the text color to white so it will contrast with the background. And over here we have an option to flip. You can flip the text. Right now it's going from up to down. And you can flip it to be from down to up. It just turns it by 180 degrees rotation. Last setting is a link. You can link any one of these. Or you can disable the link. So the link is on by default. And if you want to disable it, you can just turn that off. And now you can see the cursor is not a pointer anymore. You can add your link over here. I'm going to change this one to be a Facebook button. Quick little tip. If you want to get the Facebook color, you can search for a website called Brand 
colors.net. This website just lets you quickly access all sorts of brand color colors. I searched for the word Facebook and now I got the color. You just click on this once and it copied the color to the clipboard. Over here we can paste that inside of Elementor and we have the Facebook color. Let's change the text color to white to have more contrast. Maybe play around with the typography a little bit. Find something more appropriate add some padding and now I want to make this fixed to the side so to make it fixed to the side I click on it to edit in advanced positioning where we were before where we chose inline I'm going to give this position fixed and now I can snap it to the right so horizontal orientation I'm gonna snap it to the right and it's right now snapped to the top that's good for me we can just add an offset so for example 400 offset and now it's sort of in the middle now when scrolling the page of this if the page will be long enough then you will see it fixed so to make the page longer I'm going into my section and in height I'm gonna add fit to screen and I'm going to duplicate the section just so we have two of these and you can see now that our widget is snapped over here to the right in fixed position. You can also use position absolute if you want. So that was a quick overview of the sideways vertical text widget by Unlimited Elements. Thank you for joining and I'll see you in the next video.